home to my game. Today I'm going to be a pitch reporter. All right, here, here we are in the outfield. All right, it looks very soft by what I've done with my coin. I'll put it down, yeah, it's filled up the whole coin. It's a very soft outfield here, but you have to also remember, if it's very soft, that means the ball's gonna be very hard to get to the boundary if you do it for ground shot. As we are progressing through to the wicket, but as you can see over there, there's no many no people in the grandstand, but I can assure you that's gonna be filling up later today. We've already been sold out. Here we are, into the bowlers entry. As you can see, it's a bit like the wacky here. Nice, big, healthy cracks along the pitch here. Very good, nice. Nice and soft, nice and loose. And that's how we want it if you want to be a very good bowler. Hitting those cracks, get it seen in the back. Here we are, we've got some loose stuff on the wicket here. As you can see, it is a bit rough. As you can see, very hard wicket, nice promising sound. That's so I'm pretty sure would help the bowlers out a fair bit to get nice carry through to the keeper. As you can see here, we're coming towards here, nice and smooth for where the batsmen are. It's nice and smooth, weirdly enough. So basically, if you give a good full Yorker in, you might be able to skid on, hitting your beautiful stumps. And that's me to a game, your pitch report. Yep. Alright, Tails. And Tails it is. Hang on, what are you going to do? We're going to have a bowl. Uh, what's the reason for that in this type of wicket? Um, I think having a bowl, we want to know what we have to get. And I think early breakthroughs yep. get this match. Alright, that's good then. Now over to the Australian captain. How do you feel batting on this wicket? Is this what you wanted to do? Yeah, that's what we wanted to do. I think we've got the, got the good end of the stick here. I think with our strong batting lineup, we've prepared well for this series. Yeah, so it should be a good day today. Pitch is looking good. Alright, Mitchell. That's the end of this match report. Strong him out. Okay. Not a house. In front of us, the Boxing Day Test Match. One all in the Ashes, and waiting in the commentary box are Shane Warne, Mark Taylor, and Bill Lurie. I'm Thank you, Mark. I'm Australia. What a morning for cricket. Melbourne at its best. Almost a full house, and right tremendous on, touch on both teams. Strauss has won the toss, selected to bowl for the second time in a row. So he's under pressure, so was the opening batsman, Hughes and Watson. But Mark Taylor and Shane Warning, this is what Test Cricket's all about. Ah, oh, terrific, isn't it, Bill? It's great to see so many people here for a Test Match. We've, we have seen some crowds like this in recent times for one day in 2020. But no, it's, it's just too to see this sort of number of people turn up to watch a Test what? Match. It's because they're seeing good cricket, good positive your cricket. Bat. The ground staff, I think, around Australia are doing a good job. They're putting out yeah, pitches hey. with a bit there for the bowlers. And Hughes and Watson will be tested. But it just makes for interesting cricket, great cricket to watch. Go, Dan. Go, Dan. Let's go. Oh, 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 I think what you'll see from the wicket this morning is a little bit of tennis ball bounce. There won't be a lot of pace in the wicket. It might seem a little bit, and the odd ball might swing, but it won't really get through and fly through that we saw in Perth. Look at the bouncer. You guys have been like two. Oh, what a shot. Standing up, delivering. Marley was sort of on the back foot initially. And uh, smashed it through extra for four.
Pretending it isn't. This is uh, a tour of missed opportunities, of mistakes. Oh, oh. Straight out of the top. Oh. That's not a good feeling. Right. That's the first one for Brendan McCullum. No mucking around. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, I think that happened. I don't know if it did. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, that's it. Yep. Oh, I love Gilchrist is on fire. He's come out. He's playing all the shots. 29 of 23 deliveries. Keep it up, 
Reintroduction for Jackson Bird, it's 112 for four. Oh, he just hands up to it. 
an incredible 307 run partnership gives them a lead of 221. England's plight would have been much worse if it wasn't for the six wicket haul by Steve Finn. Scores ready? Yeah. Scores ready? Scores ready? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Scores? Raw. Yep, we got score. Fight. Who's scoring? Same. Oh, what a wire. Fight. And then run. He just was a little late on it. That's why it went in the air and Doherty fingertips. Oh. In the air. Oh. In the top again. Oh. Four it wasn't on. that wide of off stump. And Jackson Bird's been cutting that region a few times. And it hasn't oh. been that bad. He's in good touch. Oh, what a shot! Boy scored some runs through that backward point area. Another boundary. Knock out. Yeah. 